All right, here we have Bitcoin on Bybit on the one hour. Uh, looks like we got that move we were talking about. Uh, we went up to 24,250. Uh, literally right up to the red zone. Got rejected from the red zone that we've had drawn since uh, probably about right back here. Uh, you know, once we came back down, we've been talking about this move for quite a while. So right now, <clears throat> the question is, is do we continue or is that the top? Was this the last rally? Uh, we're being held up by the 50 right now. Uh, RSI, neutral median zone, below the signal line. We are below the neutral median line right now, but we'll find out whether we can come back up and cross this, whether this is just a correction or whether this was it. BBWP, of course, is high above the moving average. Uh, BBWP being some uh, indicator that measures volatility. Then you have your momentum oscillators here, uh, one being the MACD, which is fresh cross to the downside. Negative momentum is increasing, sharp downside curvature below that signal line. Um, we are being held up by the 50. So we also have this VPVR level that we fell below. So we're going to have more resistance here at 23,650. Um, but if we can get back above this second breakdown point right here at 23,800, I think we will break this high. I think we will get deeper into this uh, zone right here. And honestly, I think if we break this last high at this point, we're going to get to 25K like we've been talking about. Um, so that would be part of your bullish case. That would also imply that you break the signal line to the upside and the signal line on your MACD. Honestly, we wouldn't even need to break it. We just need to break this downside curvature and get this histogram back down to zero. Um, so that'd be your bullish case. Watch your uh, momentum oscillators. Watch your BBWP. If you start to consolidate here, fall below that moving average, we could just go sideways for a minute, bounce around these VPVR levels. Um, <clears throat> now the bearish case, is that you fall below the POC point of control on the VPVR and this 100. So watch 22200, very important level right now. Uh, that would imply that we break this zero line on the MACD. If we break the zero line and keep printing dark red bars on that histogram and break the 100 in the POC point of control, probably coming back down to 19K. Um, that would also imply that we enter the bearish control zone deep uh, I would like to see it get below the 36.1 level in this last low right here. We do have bearish divergence, and that's what's let, that's one of the variables that's let us down so far. Uh, we were actually talking about bearish divergence in the Discord this morning. Um, someone pointed that out. Uh, shout out to him. Um, I didn't have a lot of time to look at the charts this morning, so that's why I'm making the video now. Uh, but it was mentioned in the discord. So definitely join the discord uh, link in the description below Also some good exchanges uh, You get free crypto. I get free crypto um, And like and subscribe uh, To the channel definitely support the channel in the bear market and uh, Keep getting this time sensitive content turn on your notifications So that's the bearish case <clears throat> And you know your levels for the bullish case uh, let's move on to Ethereum real quick. All right, so let's see. Ethereum, basically bullish case is that you break this last VPVR level at the 1600 level. If you can do that, you know, I think you come up to the 17 like we were talking about. Uh, that would also imply that you get back above that signal line on the RSI, bounce off of this zero line because you got a fresh cross to the downside right now. BBWP is in the upper zone above that moving average. Um, so the question is, is this, is this a correction or is this it? I mean, right now it's looking like this could turn around pretty sharply. We need to get back above these last highs quickly. Um, because the more we consolidate down, it's going to look like it's rolling over. All right. So let's move on to Solana. Solana, check that out right up to our level, right on the dot. We have stayed on the pulse of Solana for months. Uh, I mean, if you've been watching the, if you've been watching these videos, you know how accurate we have been with Solana in the last months. Came right up to our level at forty-seven, forty-five. 
back down to the red zone. We are being held up by the 100 right now. Fresh cross of the zero line to the downside. Uh, we are in the bearish control zone right now on the RSI. Did get rejected from the signal line and the top of the bearish control zone. Um, looks like we could... Let's see here. We do have bullish divergence from this point to this point to this point to this point on the RSI. So I would at least expect a bounce here, possibly to the top of this red zone at $44 and where the 50 and the 21 is sitting. Um, if we get rejected from there, it's not going to look good. If we get rejected from there, we could come all the way back down to $39. So definitely watch Bitcoin right now because Bitcoin is going to dictate what happens to this market. Uh, Solana <clears throat> is kind of having a little bit more of a correction, but Solana has also went up, you know, quite a bit. I mean, so so is Bitcoin and Ethereum, but yeah, I mean, Solana has been doing good. Came up to the uh, to our zone or to our diagonal trend line, but if it breaks if it breaks this two hundred, it's not going to look good. It's not going to look good. So once again, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, Check out the links in the description below. Watch Bitcoin. Stay nimble. Watch Bitcoin. All your moving averages, by the way, are ha all have uh, <clears throat> are all above each other. Twenty one looks like it's curling down a bit, um, and we'll see if we can break the twenty one. If we can break the twenty one in this last breakdown point at twenty three eight hundred, that's that's gonna look good. So everyone have a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you.